हे एवरी वन यू वॉचिंग बुक वर्क वेन एवर सम रीचेस आउट टू मी विथ अ लोअर डिग्री ऑफ डिप्रेशन सैडनेस और लाइफ इज अनफेयर काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज देर इज वन बुक आई रिकमेंड द बुक इज लव योर सेल्फ लाइक योर लाइफ डिपेंड्स ऑन इट बाई कमल रविकांत सम बुक्स क्लेम दैट इट्स लाइफ चेंजिंग बट दिस इज a uh, truly a life changing book if you practice what is written in this book the best part is it's easy to read and has straight forward language you know no fluff now, there are many books on this concept loving yourself it's more of a cliche right now but this book in you know, it's about the experiments he did with this concept and the results he got so this is the background kamal rivikant the book's author he was a silicon valley ceo of a startup the company he built from scratch for 4 years failed he was sick he had a breakup and one of his close friends died so this was the situation life was unfair to him he was depressed you know to say the least so love yourself like your life depends on it is a book about what saved him he completely transformed his life by applying the principles mentioned in this book he became better physically and emotionally his whole life got better in a month so initially he self published this book on amazon the ebook version and then it went viral it became a hit through word of mouth i read the pdf version you know the ebook i think some 7 years back and i recommended this book to a lot of people so recently 2 years back they re-released the book so this version So in today's book work let me summarize the key points and practices from this book. So Kamal Ravikant was in a bad shape. He was miserable out of his mind and there were days where he would just stay in the bed the whole day. Too depressed even to open the curtain. He didn't want to face himself, he didn't want to face the world. He didn't want to deal with his own thoughts. So one day he reached his you know breaking point, emotional threshold. he couldn't take it anymore he took his notebook and wrote so this day i vowed to myself to love myself to treat myself as someone i love truly and deeply in my thoughts in my actions and in my choices each and every moment from now on i'm going to love myself that written note changed the entire life of ravikant sounds so simple and silly but there's a power in simplicity if you practice the simple rules discussed in this book you will see a positive change so kamal didn't believe he loved himself in the beginning but what mattered was he was committed to the practice so what was the practice there are three things he did every day number 1 mental loop number 2 is meditation number 3 is the most important question so i'll get into detail the mental loop is a fancy word he used for our chain of thoughts if you had a thought you know like one thought it has no power over you you repeat it again and again especially with emotional intensity you're creating a loop and it controls you on the other hand take one thought like i love myself if that's a thought and add emotional intensity to that so whether you believe it or not you know after some time you know it becomes your reality so this is what kamal did all his waking hours he repeated to himself you know i love myself i love myself i love myself during all his activities you know brushing bathing eating non stop chanting i love myself you know just chanting this i love myself he kept repeating it until it surprised him doing it automatically because imagine the feeling of catching yourself loving yourself without even realizing that you are doing it so that's what happened to him the goal is to practice until the thought you choose become the primary loop inside your head so that's the mental loop part number 2 meditation the two kinds of meditation he did one is closed eye eyes meditation the normal one so each day he listened to a 7 minute music instrumental music and then he used to you know meditate on loving himself inhale love myself exhale you know love myself and when the mind wanders he smiled and got back to the words i love myself and the second meditation is a 
open eye or a mirror meditation looking yourself in the mirror looking deep into your eyes and saying i love myself he suggests practicing this for 5 minutes every day looking into your own eyes it'll be tough for some of you for the first time because generally when people look in the mirror the focus is on what's wrong right so, you know you look yourself and see what's what's wrong with you here you're appreciating yourself and saying i love you to yourself the third one is a question the first two practices are with yourself the third one is while dealing with people and negative events so while dealing with negative situations just ask yourself if i loved myself truly and deeply would i let myself experience this for example someone is criticizing you right the natural reaction is to feel upset but at that moment you can ask yourself this question if i loved myself truly and deeply should i stay upset because of someone's opinion about me and this question will shift your focus from wherever you are to self love darkness is simply the absence of light i mean you can't push darkness away no you can't hide from it similarly you can't hide from depression and anxiety self hate and you know all those things and you don't have to the only thing you need to do is to turn a light on to let the sun shine you know through the window so whenever you feel like you are in darkness just let light in you don't you don't need to escape or destroy the darkness you know? just let the light in so loving yourself is the light you know we think that we need someone else you know make us feel good you know, for us to shine but the most important person the most important relationship we'll ever have is 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 with you you know the relationship with you so fall in love with yourself let your love express itself and the world will beat a path to your door to fall in love with you by the way loving yourself is not a selfish act when you love yourself you will see the world as a beautiful place and others will see your best version loving yourself is like putting your oxygen mask you know you putting your oxygen mask on before helping the person next to you don't expect others to love you if you don't love yourself the one key that makes all this work is your commitment you know make a vow you make the commitment and make it and write it in a paper So my request is to try this experiment for at least for 3 days and you know see the magic. Three things. First thing is saying to yourself I love myself all day long. The second one is the meditation part. The third one is the question. So when you experience any negative situation ask yourself will I stay in this state of mind if I truly and deeply love myself? The answer will be no. So be kind to yourself. Love yourself. When you love yourself life loves you back it doesn't have a choice thank you so much for watching love you all i am srijit krishnan stay happy stay healthy